So basically we are going to try to fit a huge quest into a 5 minute video. I don't know if it's possible but we are definitely going to try it. This is the Red Eagle quest. Now the remains of adventurers before me is never a good sign in front of a cave and there is also a sword sticking out of the rock and it has nothing to do with this quest. So strap on your boots and let's go into the cave. Once inside the cave you will see a pedestal that says activate weapon slot. If you try to activate this slot without the sword it will tell you you don't have the weapons that you need. Now most of the time you're going to be thinking that uh, yeah there's, some, there's got to be something in this cave that we can use. Maybe the sword's in here or maybe there's a clue and you'd be right because there is. After running around like a maniac you actually find the adventurer on the ground. He doesn't really have much on his person, but next to him is the Legend of the Red Eagle book. If you pick up this book, the quest will immediately start, and it will say, Find Red Eagle's Sword. And also, if you have not read the book, the Legend of Red Eagle is actually a really good story. Um, so yeah, catch up on your lore while you're at it. Basically, go to your quest line, go to Miscellaneous, and that's where, under Miscellaneous, you will definitely see Find Red Eagle's Sword. Once you click both of those, you will be able to find it on the map, and that is definitely the easiest way to find it. If you go to your map, you will find the Red Eagle Redoubt, and the Red Eagle Sword will be right next to it. This is where you need to go. So Once you're in Red Eagle Redoubt, you will immediately have to fight the Forsworn right off the bat. So having a follower is always a good idea. The one thing I hate about Forsworn is that they never carry anything good. You see that cave? You're gonna want to go in it. And once you do, guess what? You're gonna fight some more Forsworn, but these ones are actually a little bit stronger. And I like that because sometimes the game feels too easy, so having a little bit of competition is always a good, good and fun. Now I've never really cared for the Forsworn. I mean, the Forsworn Briar Hearts are cool and all, but you only fight one of those every now and then. Most of the time it's Forsworn Pillagers. Uh, the Forsworn Mages aren't too bad either, but honestly, they're kind of weak. We're finally at the top, and maybe this is the guy with the sword. Yeah, the guy at the top of the stairs. He must be the man with the sword. I'm sure of it. It's gotta be. Well, I guess not. You're gonna keep going until you see a giant steel door. You can't miss it. Yep, there it is. Now you're getting really close. Really, really close. And you're gonna wanna keep going. And I'm stuck on this ledge. Why am I stuck on this ledge? There we go. I am the king of special attacks. Check out my special attacks. Now remember, you are on a quest to find the Red Eagle Sword, and sometimes quests in the Skyrim can feel very repetitive. Over and over, each quest seems to open up a new door for another quest. Now my big question is, who has this sword? Who am I looking for? Because by all, by all means, I cannot remember anything. Prepare to fight yourself through more Forsworn over and over again. Okay, this is the staircase I remember. This is it. He's up here. He's up here. That's not him. No, where is he at? There he is. Wait a second. This guy can't have the sword. He's just a Briarheart. There's no way. Now, Briarhearts are... Uh, tough bastards they are they are strong and the story behind them is actually very interesting and if you're waiting for me to tell it you can look it up yourself 
Once you do defeat this Forsworn Briarheart, you will actually find that he is the one that is carrying the sword. There it is, Red Eagle's Fury. I have a mod that actually makes it look different, but, you know, it's still the same sword. There was also a book called Red Eagle's Right. If you want to grab that, you can. If not, it affects literally nothing. But, you know, lore is always cool. I like to collect books, so... You're going to want to travel back to Rebels Karn, and this is where you started off. So you basically went through all of that just for this one moment. You're going to stick the Red Eagle Sword into this slot. Now some people choose not to do this quest because they actually want to keep the sword for themselves. Once you do stick it in here, remember, you won't be getting it back. Stick the sword in the slot and a door will magically open for you. Behind this door is Red Eagle himself, so make sure you are ready. I definitely like to use Dawnbreaker whenever I'm fighting the undead. Now he's gonna summon some skeletons. They're not too much to worry about. As for Red Eagle himself, he's a little bit tough, but nothing too serious. Dawnbreaker is actually pretty good against him. And the final killing blow, if you do get to that point, is actually pretty awesome. And now for the finishing move. Yeah. Alright, let's see what he's got. He's got to have something good, right? Honed Ancient Nord Great Sword of Burning. Yeah. Not that great. Honestly, there's always better loot in the giant chest after you defeat a boss. So yeah. I'm guessing it's always different. I would imagine so. So what do we have in mind? Most likely a unique weapon, a glass hatchet. That's not in the vanilla Skyrim because I've got it all modded up. And uh oh. There we go. This is what I'm looking for right here. A modded special weapon, the Sidor Morag. It burns the target for 20 points and it's worth almost 4,000 gold. That's what I'm talking about. So yeah, that's basically the whole quest there, and we went well over five minutes. Uh, way, way over five minutes. So I did not actually do it in the allotted time that I wanted to, but then again, so what? So now I think it's time to celebrate. I think I'll keep this as a totem of my accomplishment, and we will head to the nearest bar.